Hey everyone, we thought today we'd do a video on support and how important giving support is to everybody, I suppose. At Empower Network, we have the most incredible support system you could ever hope to find anywhere. It's not just in relation to your business, but it's in general and just in life. In life. You know, we have, have made so many incredible friends within Empower Network and the support... Real. Oh yeah, real friendship. True, true friendships. Not superficial friends. Um, but, you know, they are there to help you in any aspect of, of your life. You know, when we're, we're having a bit, of a bit of a shit day, a bit rough, there's always somebody there to sort of pick us back up again and go, no, nah, it's all good, like keep going or you know if you have a, an issue with with something in relation to your business there's always someone that will help you out you know you post something someone will always help you um, and you know the beauty the, uh, there's a lot of the team leaders and a lot of members actually in Miami at the moment um, doing a, a training um, session yeah weekend, mastermind mastermind and a couple of the leaders Kevin and um, Laura and a few of the others have actually done videos while they've been out yachting um, and you know they've put them out there for any Empower Network member to use there's no tags on them there's no links on them there's no nothing on them it's like they're for anybody in Empower Network to use which I think is is incredible mm -hmm. you know it's not um, find that anywhere else. no you wouldn't find that and and it's like no, you didn't find that anywhere else <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Some I mean, people will know what I'm talking about. Everywhere else, you tend to come across um, leaders, and it's like, well, this is what I'm doing. So if you want to do it, you're gonna have to go and do it yourself, or find a way to do it. And and I'm awesome, and I'm awesome because I am awesome. And this is my video, and this is my link, and now you can't have it. Go make your own. But not with Empower Network. I mean, even Dave and Dave, they cut videos, and we can link it back to our own our own membership so if anybody happens to join through that particular video that we've posted you become our team member like it's all about sharing and supporting each other and you know that is we are one team we are one team you know we may have you know various teams around the place because I mean ultimately you really only want to sort of um, be getting your information from well, one source as opposed to a million sources but we're all one huge team, one huge family, one huge support system. Yep. Um, you know, Dave and Dave really have done an amazing job creating the foundations for this this incredible, unique, unique system that no one can copy. Yeah, I mean, you know, they can pretend, but I don't think anybody would have the passion that Dave and Dave had, and 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 the duplicatable passion that so many of us do have. Um, I don't even know the numbers in Empower Network anymore. I have no, no idea of membership numbers. Um, a lot. If there's going to be six to 7,000 people in Denver. A couple. Just a few. A few, more than more, more. a few more than when we joined. Yeah, just a few. A few more than San Diego Day. So, you know, if, if you're... Not not just with, like, in, in the business and that, but in life, you know, just... When was the last time you actually reached out and helped somebody? Be, you know, just because, not because of some, you know, gain you were going to get for it or, or some financial um, gain. There's that word. I don't want to use gain again, but I couldn't think of anything. Um, do you want me to take that for a minute? Yeah, what I'm saying. Sorry. Just, just on, a, on a side note with support and help. Last night, I've got to tell a story about last night. I wasn't there. I know. Took my parents into town. Carly was with us. Um, to see what was called the Vivid, Vivid Sydney, Sydney Vivid. Vivid, whatever, yeah. a laser light show in Sydney. And the, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Not the lights, I'm talking about the people and the traffic and the cars and oh my God. It, 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 we've been in the city New Year's Eve and it was nothing like that. It was horrendous. And we're sitting on a hill, satellites in the middle of the city, and I'm unable to move and I've been sitting there for like 15 minutes and I've got this guy behind me screaming abuse at me and bipping the horn and carrying on and the things he called me was quite extraordinary but the funny thing is I didn't even know he was talking to me until Carly pointed it out and I thought, how 
unfortunate for that poor guy being so impatient and in such a hurry to go somewhere, I don't know where, because you couldn't go anywhere, that he was... probably going to be out of the car and look. I don't know, but he was so cranky with me because I refused to actually go over the car in front of me. But then I noticed the car next to me, a car full of young girls, and um, very young girls, and then the driver jumped out of the, the driver's seat and then the passenger in the back jumped in the front. Oh, it's a bit unusual. Then I saw sort of the... I don't know whether it was the fear or the... Look on their face. Yeah, the look, it was just... So I, I, I put the window down. Mother instinct. Yeah, mother instinct ca kicked in. And I just said to them, excuse me, honey, is your car broken down? And she's like, well, yeah. And they were panicking. They were, they were on the verge, verge of tears. They didn't know what to do. And I'm like, put your hazards on. And they're like, oh, they are on. I'm like, no, they're not. I've been watching your brake lights and they were, they were dimming. She said, what does that mean? I said, your alternator's gone. Like, you're getting no charge to your battery. Yes, you, you, she knows things about cars. You yeah. <laughs> Single woman, I need to know these things. So I'm just she changing arms. She also bathrooms. <laughs> Concrete driveways. <laughs> Electrician. Yeah. Jack of all trades. Um, anyway, and I said to her, look, you're sitting there. She had a bus right on her backside, like, like this far. Like, the bus couldn't reverse back. We're talking bumper to bumper traffic. We're talking mayhem in the city. Wait, you're on a hill. We're on a hill, and these poor girls were just, just panicking. And I'll let Sarah think that hand. Not mine. So, anyway, I said, look, just talk about support. Jump out the car, get your bonnet up. Like end of story. Grab a couple of guys as they're walking past, and get them to push you around the corner. At least get out of the way of this traffic, so you know uh, people can get past you. Otherwise, it was just going to be a riot. I could see it happening. And they're like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, this idiot's still screaming at me behind me. And I was so tempted to put my bonnet up. <laughs> Carly actually wanted to physically harm the guy. But the funny part was, this guy was actually the passenger. He wasn't even the driver. His female partner was the driver. And I actually felt for her because she was obviously stressing because this idiot is screaming and carrying on at me and no doubt screaming at her. And like, take a chill pill, dude. And, and I just want to get out and help these girls. I'm great at organising people. And I, I would have had a problem grabbing a couple of guys and getting them to move this car for these young girls. You have been known to before. Yeah, I'll do things like that. But, I mean, I just sort of... I saw that somebody was in trouble and, you know, the amount of cars that actually went past these girls and didn't do anything surprised me. Like, it, it was ridiculous. People go through life with their blinders on. Or not willing to, to lend a helping hand. I mean, how hard was it for me to offer these girls some assistance? I told them what was wrong with their car. I'd just gone to put the bonnet up. Because while they were sitting in the car and the bus was right on their backside, nobody knew what was going on. They would have caught the same abuse I was copying. But, oh, and like I said, I didn't know it was at me and I didn't really care anyway. I was in no hurry to go anywhere. I never am anymore. It's like, I just breathe. My mum was stressing out, Carly was stressing out, and you know, my dad was alright, he was laughing, he was having a good time, <laughs> they didn't care either, it was, but yeah, you know, just, just, you know, a bit of support, support goes a long way, and people really, really appreciate it, and I know we have definitely appreciated all the support we, we get with um, Empower Network, I think our dogs actually want some support right now, because <laughs> I've got them scratching at my legs for whatever reason, dying for me to pick them up. Anyway, guys, just you know, putting it out there. If if you know you want some help with something, you know, Sarah and I, we're here to inspire people to take action. You know, we want to inspire you to take action to change things in your life. If you're not happy with the way things are. If you're, you know, you know you, there's something that you want to do that you're not doing. If you're not living life to your potential, if you're not living life if you're the not way living you, want life to, you want to, you know, reach out. Click on the link that may or may not be around this video. Who knows where we put them? Or the link whoever shared this video. Yeah, or whoever shared this video. Like, do that. Just do yourself a favour. Get into this community. You know, it's, it's, the cost is nothing. Well, it's not nothing, but relatively it is. But let me tell you that what you actually get out of this is... Life-changing is the only two words I can put. It's absolutely priceless. And and I am just so incredibly grateful that we are a part of Empower Network and we have met the people that we've met. At the time we met them. Yeah, and I tell you what, 
I, I wouldn't trade where I am for quids, seriously. I just, I love my life. Mm, me too, but at 10 minutes, I think they want to go now. Okay, that's all. <laughs> so, lend a helping hand. If you want support, reach out. Just ask all, for it. Yeah, ask for it. Don't be afraid to ask for some help if you need it. Anyway, catch us later. Bye. Bye.